Even though the culture of stripping down a bike and optimizing it for speed and handling rather than comfort was left in the previous century, there was still a bunch of independent workshops which specialize in creation of unique cafe racers. These motorcycles display remarkable superbike performance, have stunning looks and will not leave any passerby indifferent. In today's video we will show you the best examples within this family of two-wheelers and will prove to you that bike customization could be a true art. Subscribe to Automotive Territory to get alerts about the upcoming episodes and enjoy the ride! Hoki Falcon BMW R90 The Dresden-based workshop Hokiko has made name for itself by creating custom builds of retro models. The 2019 Falcon, however, is actually the first time the Germans worked with a modern bike. Based on the stock 2014 BMW R90, the bike's design draws inspiration from the 1930s Bra Superior SS100. Its elements like suspension, brakes, ABS and fuel pump are left untouched, as this custom builder focuses primarily on design and ergonomics. The Falcon features handmade bodywork, tail section and fuel tank, all made of aluminum. It gets a sportier and more aggressive stance, resembling that of a bird of prey. The other add-ons to the build include Aero Titanium Exhaust System, Pirelli Angel GT Tires, Moto Gadget Motoscope Pro and an LED truck light. The Aorus by Daos X Machina This custom bike is based on the already discontinued Yamaha model XGR1300 which has become a naked bike icon within the production run between 1998 and 2016. The inspiration for the Power Racer was drawn from the legendary endurance machines of the 1970s and 1980s. The four-cylinder 1251cc engine is probably the only component of the Aorus which was left unaltered by the Daos S Machina workshop. It outputs 98 horses and 80 pound-feet of torque at 6000 rpm. The bike is semi-naked and its most unique feature is the Cyclops fairing made of aluminum and a retro headlight, repositioned to the right side. At the first glance it might appear unpainted, but in reality it is another creative choice of the developers to use special paint that replicated bare metal. Other prominent upgrades include Allen suspension, SC Project full titanium exhaust and 18-inch Marva Campagnolo magnesium wheels. Icon 1000 3 Martini Lunch Though Icon 1000 began as a motorcycle apparel and protective equipment brand, it is currently most famous for building the craziest imaginable bike conversions. The company's 2017 3 Martini Lunch bike is not an exception, using the tried and tested recipe that combines vintage exterior with modern motorcycle components and tech. Based on the 2014 Triumph Thruxton, the model gets a revised rear subframe plus a new suspension. The stock front forks are replaced by the beefier Harley units, while the rear shocks now come from Nitron. The brakes are from EBC and the wheels are borrowed from Kawasaki KC1000 and are wrapped in bulky Avon tires. All of the bodywork and the fuel tank are custom too, plus the 3ML gets a signature round headlight with an X pattern. The exterior is inspired by the unmistakable looks of the 1968 Pontiac Firebird featuring the car's Verdoro green paint color. Rough Crafts and Ego Flyer The custom motorcycle built Rough Crafts and its founder Winston Ye are a longtime fan of Ducati Monster motorcycles, so it is no wonder why the company chose the 2016 Monster 1200S as a base vehicle for one of their recent projects called the Indigo Flyer. The bike is inspired by the styling of Ducati's Sport Classic line, specifically the 2006 Paul Smart 1000 Limited Edition. With the custom subframe and bodywork, it has the spirit and design of the original but performs as a modern Ducati. Rebuilt from the ground up, the Indigo Flyer gets bulky 48mm all-in suspension, a custom exhaust system and new 17-inch wheels with Pirelli Phantom Sports Comp tires and Behringer brakes. As for its name, it's pretty straightforward too, as its primary body color is denim blue. Triumph Thruxton R by Dibalax Engineering the philosophy behind the builds of the UK-based DBLX is pretty simple. Instead of tearing up great production bikes and making something unique but less practical, they try to retain the model's best features and make them even better. The Triumph Thruxton R by this workshop is no different. Commissioned by Prince Matin of Brunei, 
the bike received a redesign inspired by the early TT racers and was given even better sports characteristics. First, the suspension was upgraded by the Maxton fork internals and rear shocks. Then came the XL rims wrapped in the Metzler race tag RR tires. To make the bike lighter and more agile, the stock bodywork was fully replaced with lightweight aluminum parts and a custom-built scalp tank featuring a classic cafe racer design. Another eye-catching feature of the bike is its unique headlight design with a removable cover that reveals a yellow-tinted lens. Heinrich Maneuver by Dow's X Machina Even though BMW Motorrad sells a stock cafe racer modification of the R90 Cold Racer, the Dow's S Machina model is in the upper league. With this build, the constructors are celebrating BMW's heritage and innovation while writing a handcrafted story of their own. As usual, the original motorcycle was stripped down to the bone, keeping mostly just the engine, which is a 1170cc air and oil-cooled four-stroke flat twin with 110 horsepower. The distinguishable fuel tank was fabricated by Motor Retro. The clean dash is from Moto Gadget, while the rest of the custom changes were performed by Dell's access Jeremy Tagant. The story behind the name of the bike is not specified by the creators, but we are guessing that it is a clever hint at the fact that Heinrich Maneuver will choke you with speed and acceleration. If you think that we missed some of the amazing cafe racers, make sure to leave your suggestions in the comments below. Plus, do not hesitate to express your thoughts about the video as well. Let's keep going! Icon 1000 Colonel Butterscotch In 2019, Icon 1000 created another powerful and brutal motorbike that received Cafe Racer design and the name Colonel Butterscotch. The model is built on the basis of the 1999 Suzuki Benta 1200 with plenty of new and revised components. Icon tested, tried and crashed this prototype several times, adding and removing components in the process to create a powerful and fast machine capable of delivering the ultimate riding fun. In the end, the bike received an inline 4 engine from Suzuki GSX R1100 with new carburetors, filtration system and muffler, and it now nets 115 horses. The stock suspension was replaced by 45mm forks from a Triumph Daytona up front and nitrogen adjustable shocks in the rear. Plus, the Bandit's wheels were swapped for 16 and 17-inch Honda's aluminum Comstars wrapped in Avon tires. Type 11 Project by Auto Fabrica Though inspired by the automotive shapes of 50s and 60s, the Type 11 Project has truly futuristic and alien looks. Moreover, the silhouette underlines the bike's need for speed and determination to sprint forward. It is put together by the UK custom house Auto Fabrica and is based on the Yamaha XSR900, which is brought into motion by a 115 horsepower strong 847 3 cylinder plant sourced from MT09. The bike was preceded by the Project 1, 2 and 3, which were based on the Yamaha XS750 and XSR900 respectively. Besides the unearthly design, the Prototype 11 gets bespoke Allen's forks and rear shocks, BST carbon wheels, Motologic dashboard and Brembo brake calipers. Autofabrica is actually planning a limited build-to-order run of their latest creation and they are willing to further customize the design as per the customer's requirements. RSDX Indian Scout Roland Sins is a former professional bike racer who has been building custom motorcycles and designing products for them since 2005. When Indian Motorcycle Company revived the Scout name for the first time since 1949, the company chose this platform to build their own one-of-a-kind iteration of the model with the looks of the 1920 Scouts. In the end, the 2015 bike was fully dismantled and reconstructed around a new lightweight chromoly frame with a handmade fork up front and Allen's TTX mountain bike shocks in the rear. The engine received an improved cooling system and a custom exhaust with RSD track muffler. Plus, a California paint shop Airtrex created a special vintage red color scheme with gold lettering to emphasize the bike's character. Ducati 860GT and supercharged iron head If you're still skeptical about treating bike customization as art, Max Hazen of California-based Hazen Motorworks will make all of your doubts go away. With only seven years into the career of a builder, the guy already sells his creations for six-figure prices. And it's really easy to see why. 
The workshop's twin 19 models, Ducati 860 GT Turbo and supercharged Iron Head, are among the most eye-pleasing cafe racers in the world. The first one is based on the 1879 Ducati 860 GT and features a heavily modified engine with Garrett GT15 Turbo and electric oil system. The hand-built Cremoli steel frame is designed around it. As for the second bike, Hassan used Iron Head engine, taken off Harley's 1965 Sportster and upgraded it with a supercharger. Everything else, including a four-link suspension setup and steel frame, was created from scratch. The Revival 140 The Suni Cafe Racer was built by the Texas-based restoration shop Revival Cycles when one of its loyal customers brought in his Confederate Hellcat for an upgrade in 2017. What started out as a simple repair turned into one of the most challenging projects carried out by the company. Though the bike's frame, suspension and engine received only minor changes for their owner's request, the redesign rendered the original Confederate almost unrecognizable. The model now features a new CNC machine subframe, a hand-sculpted alloy tail section and an asymmetric body panels to cover the oil cooler and the air intake. Its engine still delivers 134 horses and 140 pound-feet of torque, but it's fitted with a new stainless steel exhaust. The seating position becomes more upright due to the newly crafted fuel tank, while the seat is updated to leather hand-stitched unit. Unless you complete the conversion on your own, custom cafe racers tend to be extremely expensive. Some of the prices that we listed only include the cost of the base models. However, there is still an option of buying stock retro-styled cafe models at affordable prices. Check those out by clicking a link on the screen. Subscribe, comment below, and may the torque be with you!